Here is Hideto Tanihara further ahead on this hole, third shot. That's the way to do it. <laughs> it's beautifully played. Well judged, worked out where to land it. You could come out running. That's a touch of class. Germany's Max Kiefer has reached the fourth hole, the par three, first of them here at uh, the Ishioka Golf Club. Oh, that's beautifully played. Ah, oh, it's better than that. It's a wonderful shot. Well, went in at a great speed, and he was quite well below the level of the, the green there. Superb. Ideal on these fairways you get a nice lot of stop. You should just see one bounce and pull up here. As long as he doesn't hit it fat or anything. But I would have thought pretty much from there, straight at it, coming from the fairway. One bounce. There you go, perfect. Yeah, he's always had great control with his wedges. Chan Kim at the eighth. Looking quite breezy from the trees behind. Through those courses. Oh, oh my goodness, nearly jammed it in. Wow. Well, it was steaming. The flag did him a favour, there's no doubt, but we've seen those go underground on occasion. Yeah, we have. Just probably caught the right half of it, didn't it? If it was caught the middle, I think that would have gone in, you know. Nice roll, nicely done. In the rough, it's a guessing game. You're landing it into an upslope. It's only the last 10 feet that actually levels out. So how much is it going to release with that first or second bounce hitting into the upslope here? This is a tough one. Inside of 10 feet, it's a good shot. to control it. This putt for Higa is going to want to come from the right as it starts to approach the green. The first half of this actually kind of or, uh, approach green, approach the hole. The first half is putting right through a little subtle valley. If you start it out to the right, it's definitely going to come right to left. Beautifully hold. A heck of a par. Izumida for his birdie at the eighth. Nicely hold. Gets the par threes in a minute, don't worry, Don. McIntyre's second at the third. The left side of this fairway. Yeah, good shot. I think this is just right lip, this one. Yeah, it is, yeah. Well done. You can still read them, Boxy. It's still there. It's just getting all well, every putt straight, isn't it? And you just got to get it on the right line. You haven't even got your glasses on. Not properly. There you go. There you go. What is that? What you look like? <laughs> now you're seeing a left or right. Yeah. I'm gonna head to the eight. See where the Maximilian Kiefer can uh, make his two. It's an outside chance. Go on. Oh, lovely stuff. Excellent stuff there from Kiefer. Hold a bunker shot today, and now he's old, old part two twos. That's all very nice. Just a wedge in here for Lucas Herbert.
Yannick Paul, just out of the first cup, 10. Beautifully controlled up the semi rough. Not a lot of it, but. Uh... Makes a difference there actually that the bunker has been raked towards the hole. So if you get in a groove, it's at least running with you, with your, your direction of play. If it's raked across, it's like a plug lie, and that is just beautifully played. It's one that's wide enough you can't not take it on. 185, he does about 15 yards in front of him, have a little rise in the ground up about waist high. So you have to get it up over that, but keep it below the trees. Oh, I didn't hear any wood or leaves. What a shot. Cool, yeah, not many. Brilliant shot, that. Shot of the day so far, that one. It sure is. Good call there, Jake. Using his three wood there to just get a little bit of a chip and run just to get it to, to leap over the grass that was possibly a little bit uneven in front of him. It's always a birdie, that. <laughs> yes, never looked like anything else, did it? Very slightly raised green, won't make any difference to this one. Starting it left there. Trying to move it in a little bit left to right. Left to right always makes the ball land a little softer. A little like that. Perfect shot. T, which it would be because it's only 206 yards to the flag today. Bayo. Well, it's a pretty long journey, I was thinking that, mm. wasn't it, from Hilton Head, that's over on the east coast of the United States, they've got to fly all the way over the States, then all the way over the Pacific Ocean to get here to Japan. Huge trip. Latin into 15. Beautiful shot. He's always been one of the best iron players, hasn't he, out there on the DP yeah. World Tour. He has just changed clubs. He's going to land it on a down slope. Has to run it through a bowl and up a slope where the hole's located. This is a really tough shot off the slope down slope. What a shot oh. that was. That oh. was Tony Johnstone esque. <laughs> oh, the sound of it, Jay. You could hear it was just perfectly played, wasn't it? It was absolutely ideal. That was anything but easy. Yes, yeah, that sound. It's not a thud, it's, it's just a sort of, as the sole of the club glides through the sand. Now this group's been warned for a bit of slow play. Martin Lytton, I think, has warned him, so you might see a bit of a gallop yeah. on him. Beautiful shot. This to move to four under within three of the lead. Beautiful. Slightly awkward because he's making Richard Boxall look quite good, having picked him this week in our fantasy team. This is one of the deeper bunkers on the course, isn't it? Max Kiefer. Well, he's holed out from the sand already once today. Oh, oh he nearly did again. Mind you, that was travelling, wasn't it? Yeah, that was a tough shot, though. I mean, you know, such a deep bunker. He wouldn't have seen that. He would have heard it clattered against the flag, but... Well, it was travelling. It was a full sand iron coming back, Tony, wasn't it? Look. It was motoring, wasn't it? Oh. Oh, you know what, I've got a feeling that that would have gripped. Now let's catch up with the 2018 European Ryder Cup captain, Thomas Bjorn. Here he is at the 17th. Oh, it's like the Bjorn of old, wasn't it? Two birdies in a row, 16 and 17. So he's back to two over par. Well, look how far back in his stance he's got this. I mean, that ball's about four inches outside his right foot. And beautifully played, ensuring that he gets ball first. There's no way he's going to catch grass behind the ball. We have seen a few chip-ins, haven't we, so yeah. far, day one? Mm. It's 
Oh, I'll tell you what, that's not bad. It's better than not bad. Take a bow, sir. <laughs> that's brilliant. <laughs> I feel a bit silly now, but that was an incredible no, shot. Listen, it was. It's, if, it, you could, if he was slightly open the club face or close the club face there, it was hitting a, tr it was hitting a tray. You don't want to go long here. Pin eye right would be perfect. Good stuff from McIntyre. He's got that to open up for the 66. Oh, yes, it is. It's the old. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.